Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me all this in a file. And it's pretty ingenious what he's trying to do. He's actually trying to make a pattern. And he had two questions, one how he could do it faster and one how he could get the ring back on the circle after he does this. So I'm gonna answer that question first. Uh, let's see how big this thing is. It's 34 inches, it's huge, so I'm making a nudge factor 35. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna intersect it. And then I'm gonna nudge that out of the way twice. Now I'm gonna just take my circle and nudge it out of the way. So now you've got a circle around your item. But then he was having to fill in with the Smart Fill tool every other block. And also you would have some leaks from time to time. So I first told him how to how to fix the leak and I didn't know what he was doing. So let's go and go to effects and contour and let's contour to the inside just 0 0.01, let's see if that's enough. And then let's try that leak before we even break the contour back. So now we've fixed the leak. Well, let's get even in closer. Um, so we have fixed the leak and then you just break that contour apart and your circle is a minute, minute little. And a lot of times you have to go and grab the whole thing to break the contour apart and then grab that outside contour. But instead of going through all that trouble to fill up the individual squares, boy, I'm having trouble. Um, why don't you just make this, you know, he did this grid work and he did this grid work and evidently, and he's tried it a couple different times and, and he can get this pattern, but that's not the pattern he wants. So my suggestion is just start over and draw a one inch by one inch square. And with my ratio locked, I can just change number one number. And now let's take and fill that in and fill it in and uh, take away the outline. So now we have a one inch block. I'm gonna go to edit step and repeat, and I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna have no offset, and I'm gonna have to change this to two, and then that way we have that many. Now grab all of them, change this to one, and change this offset to one. Now when you do both of them, you can't really justify if it's gonna go right or left or up or down. But there's your pattern. Now you can just play with it and get the angle you want. And you need to group it together. Control G. And then just depend on what angles you want the diamonds to be in your shape. Or you can move your shape or move your... He was actually, when we first started talking, he was using the three-point ellipse to kind of make a... a um, offset circle and and then just put it in there and the good thing about this you can you're not messing anything up so let's see how big this is now well 79 inches ha keep getting bigger and bigger so let's go to intersect and then nudge that out of the way and then nudge your circle and if that's not the angle of the diamond shape you want, you can do, you know, you can do two things, control D and make a duplicate and move that back, but you still have this diamond shape and you haven't messed with the pattern. Let me grab, if I can grab the diamond shape and maybe you can put it in there deeper. That's one thing nice about the intersect tool, you don't really mess anything up. You, um, you've you still got all your parts, you just, they're just taking out the intersection. And then see if you like that angle. But you've saved yourself a lot of time. And 
anyway, that's how I would do it. Just color in the blocks first. It's a lot easier. And, you know, there's a lot you can do with a pattern like this. Let's just, just get an ellipse, put it in there. Go to the intersect tool, intersect it. That's a pretty cool pattern. And like I said, don't ever move it out of the way, nudge it out of the way in case you want that, in case you want an outline around it, then you could nudge it to your heart's consent. Anyway, hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.